quite an event for, for guys. I mean, stay tuned for the video. It's gonna be quite a hell of a video. That's why. Gonna be bonkers. Was, uh, yeah, it didn't um, put it this way. This was this was the one fishing trip that we went out for, where we did barely any fishing. We caught wild fish, but they had a completely different adventure all on its own. So yeah. We we gonna go and see. Yeah, we need to get it's gonna be a good video. We are late. <laughs> need to be by that guy's house at half past nine. Look at the time. Who's house at half past nine? The resort. Oh, that's the that's that's starting of the video, the intro. That's the intro of the video. Right now. Slap dash trap. 101. Okay, welcome to another episode of Fishing Fanatics. As you can hear behind me, it's about to go down. Slap their strap 101. Number one. We on our way. We boys. on our way. Bloom here yeah, we come. As you guys can see, we got the old crew with us this, this time. Guys. Except the old dudes. No old dudes. <laughs> Alright, are we ready to move? Let me begin. Bismillah. <laughs> Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Boys are on their way. Slap their strip. Part one. Ivy, <laughs> where the hell did you bring us? Guys, I don't know where we are. The GPS lost. We lost on the way home. <laughs> We're just driving until we can find some civilization. You know, get the garage. Lucky we got a full tank petrol. I promise you this road is like the wrong turn road. <laughs> but inshallah, we'll get to where we need to be inshallah. I mean, if any of you you was hard well run for Tedo and they're watching this, this road is basically 70 kilometers of Uncle Harry's back road. <laughs> it feel like we in a rally car. In every light you see it feel like someone's chasing us. But we're gonna make it out alive. I mean, spirit, baby. This house is in the back of the bucky. Yo, Guys, yo! Look at, look at the spot down. Yo! That was in the back of the bucky. I think they're unconscious, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, there's yeah, someone who's yeah, yeah, sleeping. Problem. But yeah, we'll make it to the end of the road. Hopefully, you'll see us. Okay, guys. Uh, where are we now? Uh, I don't know where the garage we are. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know which garage we at. We stopped at the engine garage because I went near it to pee and whatnot. It's cold. It's cold. It's hell of a cold. It's cold. Oh, but we still hell of a far. We... Hi guys. Night. Wow. <laughs> How's it going? We're only about an hour into the journey. We have two hours left. We were supposed to be there at... We're supposed to be there? What time are we supposed to be there? We're supposed to be there by half past nine, guys. We're supposed to be half past nine. GPS is showing. Two hours, 43 minutes. <laughs> now two hours, 50 minutes. It's saying we're gonna operating on Indian yeah, time. Thing, it's saying we're going to reach now. here at... Where's the Crips movie? 11. I want to scrambling. Yeah. They're looking for the Crips. Those are violent people. We need to start making a move, okay. though, because... Uh, Hopefully the next time... Fishing, Hopefully the next time you see us, we'll be at the place. Shop. Right guys, everything leads to something. We were on that road for two hours. And we finally found some And now we got your your this is smart, huh? Check the water guys, check the wild river guys. There's the river. I know what the torches man. They don't say oh no. The bucket is still on the side like. Oh check this water. Yes sis. You're on the bar, man. Come on, Moira's loose. What is this place? 
like this place here. If anybody knows, if anybody knows where we are. This is Rob Ferreira, my bro. Oh, okay. Whatever that, whatever that. I said. This is Christiana. If anybody knows what the name of that lodge is, let us know. No, no joke. We went through that bridge. Yes, angry go. And now we finally made it to the end of that long road. You know, the civilization. And we uh, should be okay now. I stayed in this place. I stayed in this place. We'll conclude the video in a while. Say it, but we made it. You have arrived. <laughs> it was a long journey. I it wasn't. I was the driver. You're not supposed to say that on camera. It's okay, but our mothers are gonna watch. We it. were gonna get ya it. We were That's gonna. Oh, we made it. <laughs> <That's laughs> we were gonna get ya. Oh, we're supposed to make it ya at ten past eleven. Half past 11. That's the time we got you. We are on our That's how you make it, boys. 60 kilometers an hour we got you. To our mothers, we're sorry what we had to. No one is road is crap, okay? Yeah, when, yeah. But of a heavy road. This is the location that you're at. You're gonna phone it, uncle is gonna swear us. We're supposed to be here at. Walk one, ladies and gents. The river is down there. Hey, we never even get brought. We are by. Hey, is this we should have got red there, but uh, sure. that's not. <sighs> okay, Fishing Fanatics reboot team has made it to the location. Here's our Mr. Ebi, bird sun, with the shades at night. Zaid, what do you have to say for yourself? Let's go for a spot, he's lack of I see what you're working with. We're lining, but we got no bait. Hey, you're a wonderful fisherman. <laughs> this actually was not supposed yeah, to be a yeah, fishing yeah. trip, but we're island, fishing fanatics. So you know what? We made it a fishing trip. <laughs> right, guys. Time is 25 past 11 about. We just got you. Oh, Kupsa Pabdul. He's already on the braai. He's getting our chow ready. Oh, it's looking like a, look at the size of that chop. And now, Uzair is going to show us what trace we're going to run here in the river. That's cool. Alright. So, it's really cold, so bear with me. But anyway, guys. We're going to be doing a lot of light tackle fishing here because you know, we didn't really bring out much heavy tackle and it's at the river so light tackle you can basically catch almost anything. So just to give you guys an idea, this is more or less what the trace is going to look like. We've got a little weight there with the jelly stopper and then we've got a tiny little hook that we're going to be using. Now. Before we get into how we made that whole trace and put everything together, I want to show you guys something that you'll be able to find on our online store. So this is our all-round light tackle finesse fishing kit. As you can see, it's a tiny little box that can basically fit in your pocket and it's got everything a light tackle fisherman needs. You've got some light tackle weights there, you've got a barrel weight, you've got a couple of small round split shots there. And then there's a various different types of hooks. We've got some jelly stoppers. At the bottom of that, there's a couple of swivels in there. I've got my two policemen, just in case. And then we've also got some big hooks in here, just in case we decide to put out a nice big barber bait. So, first things first, we're going to show you guys how to make this running trace, right? For that, we're going to need the jelly stoppers from our kit. We're going to get us a nice small hook. 
that will be this one here all right now i'm using one that's a little bit smaller the reason for that being i'm basically just gonna scout around and see what's gonna be in the water at this time of night hopefully we get something and then from there we're gonna need a little weight so we'll put this one here on right so this is Arif's light tackle rod Wash. This is power plus with the barbarian ultra lights and this rod has done some damage ladies and gentlemen go check out the website you'll be able to see some of the pictures anyway this rod of this has finesse braid on here now usually we would tie on a nice light leader like maybe a four pound or six pound or something like that but uh, since this light, uh, braid is already so light, we're going to just tie our trace directly on here. So, first thing you're going to do, take your barrel sinker or split shot or, or round ball weight. Run that up your line. Right? And then, you're going to grab your jelly stoppers. Now you'll see the way your jelly stoppers come, right? They've got this uh, little loop here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera yeah but yeah all you do is push your line through that loop oh god <laughs> okay yeah line through the loop and then all you do is just slide your jelly stopper up all right take that put it aside there's it our jelly stoppers on the line now you can slide this to whatever length you need it to i think for this water will stick with this it's about it's about maybe say 40 centimeters 45 centimeters maybe a little bit more but the nice thing about using a jelly stopper with light tackle fishing like this is that on your running place you'll be able to adjust the length of your weight depending on how deep the water is so then from there we're gonna tie on our hook now grab that put your line through the eye of the hook and if you guys can see it we're just gonna tie a simple figure eight knot on this one here so what you do is you grab your tail again through the hook grab both the pieces of line together like this here take your tail again make a little loop with it and then push it through that loop two times you can do it a, a few more times if your tail again is a little bit longer it just makes the knot a lot better but even two times is sufficient enough Pull your tail again through. Don't forget to give it that hook too. <laughs> Spit on that thing. Right. Hook is tied up. That's like a fastened up. And then your tail end, since we're using braid, we are just gonna burn it off. Because to bite braid is quite a mission. But yeah, here we go. Right, so that's off. <coughs> that's our trace ready to go now we do have a few baits of choice that we're gonna use here well we being the genius fisherman that we are we forgot the most important thing which is brown bread but on the bright side we have worms and we've got quite a good range of floaties here so let's see some of the flavors we're gonna be trying out tonight this is a uh, springbok baits activator We've got Magic Baits D-Day. But stop breaking the stuff, we just got you. This is our bathrooms for the night. Quite nice. There's a shower facility and whatnot. I think we'll have a good time here. Nice. Look at that. I don't think it gets any better than that. It's cold, freezing, terrible weather. But who wouldn't want to wake up to that? Right, so we've got the EB over there warming up the bucky. Uh, we've got the lines in the water. As you can see, there's some action happening there. It is now quarter past seven. I've been up for the last two hours. I went on a little bit of an adventure to go get us this big 
branch to make us a little fire here and get that going. Uh, our man Jogi over here is uh, gonna set up and try out a little lure because there's a lot of action on the top water so we're gonna see what that might be. Unfortunately my camera was uh, offline but I did manage to land a nice small barber earlier on this, moment, this morning. But so far, over the night, we never really caught anything. It got extremely cold. Uh, just a pity I didn't have my phone on to record for you guys. Because uh, this uh, beautiful reel of mine was covered in ice. All that green line that's on there was white. And then our man Jokes is gonna go out now and test this lure out and see what he can do. So, all in all, the spot that we've came to, guys, is actually quite an amazing place. I mean, if you look here, you've got the chalets and stuff in the back. Uh, there's a little bit of construction going on there. I think there might be a pool area or something coming up. We've got a full ablution block here right next to our campsite. And then on the other side of that, there's more uh, campsites and uh, fishing spots. But uh, yeah, this is the river. And if I do say so myself, it's not a bad looking piece of water, eh? Yeah, so it's 20 past 8 now. And uh, it's warming up. The sun is shining. As you guys can see, Jokes and myself have been joined by some wildlife. Uh, got a peacock over there in the corner. These two ducks moving around here. I don't know what they're looking for. We don't have millibomb. But uh, yeah, fishing is a bit slow. The top water action seems to have subsided a little bit. But uh, there's still a lot of movement in the water. So we're going to see if we can try and get something. There's uh, Jogi catching a 40 winks in his sleeping bag on the two deck chairs. The rest of the guys are still sleeping. Mike and Amira in the tent. Ibi and the rest of the Owens are here in the Paki. You can hear, yeah, I don't know. They were freaking themselves, so they decided to warm it up and put the heater on. Three guys are awake. I just, I just got up now. Okay, sorry, mom. Sorry, sorry. That that was up from early. It is cold. I, we not, we not met. He was up from, I don't know, six, five. It was negative two hours on waking up. This guy, I actually don't know if he's awake or not. But uh, he'll wake up when that breakfast is done. There's two guys, or oh, one guy I'm here in a tent. He'll be, uh, he'll be chickened out. He'll be slept in the baki. But he's not there. And uh, bird and ovals. Yeah, that's about it. That's the place. Fishing hasn't been grand, but uh, it is freezing cold. Allegedly, the power was just on the road. And he's really in power. I don't believe him. But yeah, we'll see if we can get some fish. We're gonna get some chow in us now. But oh, there's the May now.